all expectations was written in 2018. Yes, right? it was. Mm -hmm. well, actually, 20, it was written in 2018 before a lot of this became apparent to everyone. Yes. Remember, before 2018 is before the George Floyd case, it's before yes. all the riots of 2020, before the election. What you'll find in here is described America yes. today, but she saw it, well, she saw it way back before that. So I'm very honored to be introduced by Barbara, and, and to be uh, asked to be here by Madeline, who to me is a hero, because Amen. of what she's had to go through, and also because she's here representing many, many other people. True. I mean, many people, most people lead their lives quietly, most people lead their lives without being in the newspapers and without... Uh, and it's uh, for, for many of them, it's a frightening experience. Yes. And they end up being the victim of injustice and injustice and injustice, and they never speak up. Well, Madeline is speaking up now, not only for herself and her wonderful son, Hassan. She's speaking up for thousands and thousands yes. and thousands of people who have been killed in this city and this state because of a bail law that I would consider barbaric. It is. It is. The bail it is. law puts it is. murderers, yes. rapists, thieves back out on the street so they can yes. do it again. The, the, the uh, nature, unfortunately, of a certain percentage of criminals, known as career criminals, yes. is they're addicted to committing crime. Yes, they are. This was That's well true. known That's in right. the 1980s. Professor James Q. Wilson wrote a book about career criminals. We solved this problem. We solved this problem in the 90s. Yes, we did. It, I, when I became mayor, there were, we were averaging 2,000 murders a year. When I left, it was 600. When Bloomberg left, it was 300. I reduced murder by 1,500 bodies. At least. He reduced it another 300 bodies. Under de Blasio, we're going right back in the other direction. Yes, we are. And now under Adams, doesn't seem that he's gotten the point yet. True. And then we have a district attorney who's crazy. Well, he just changed crazy. his policy. Instead of letting everybody out, he's going to let half the people out. And that's essentially what's going to happen. Doesn't even make so, sense. No. This case has to be focused on. This it's was insane. a horrendous murder. It is. Hassan Correa should be here today with us. Amen. Amen. Big, right? Amen. Amen. He should be here with us. That's right. Big, strong man working with us to bring justice to New York. Instead, he was brutally killed, stabbed 11? Yes. 11 times. 11 stabbed times. 11 times? Mm. Yep. And would have probably gotten away had Mary Saunders not run after yes. him. Right. Yes. And then that allowed her brothers to catch up and gang up on him. Mm. And four on one, they butchered him. Butchered. They butchered him mm. with Bloody. knives. Like some, something out of a medieval or Roman horrible situation. He's walking free. He was left dead on the streets of Harlem. Yeah. And it probably wouldn't have happened without the intervention of Mary Saunders, who ran after him. He tripped. That gave them enough time to catch up to him. And kill or he probably him. Him. would be here today talking about this injustice. Well, he can't be here, but we can be here. Amen. Yes. Amen. And for some reason, this court, which is just as bad as the bail laws, these judges put people out. How many times do you read that a woman was raped by somebody who was just let out on bail for rape? Right. How many times do you read that somebody was shot by someone who had just done an armed robbery and was let out for armed robbery? You read about it all the time because the laws in New York are not just pro-criminal, it's as if... They like criminals yeah. and don't like decent Dece people right. Right. Sure. like Madeline. Right. And the worst victims of this are in the African-American community. Exactly. Amen. That's, That's the true. shame of it. That's true. And African-Americans, most of whom now are successful, really, really uh, contributing citizens, they have to become aware. They have to become aware of what's happening to their people. That people are being sacrificed to an ideology mm. that wants to make us a socialist country. Yes, they want yes. things to get so bad here 
that will overthrow our form of government and put them in charge. True. No way. It's not going to happen as long as we Very have people true. like Madeline and the people she's brought together here. I don't care if it's one person, two people, three people. If they feel strongly, we're on the side of right. That's we're on right. the side of justice. We are. And we're going to prevail. That's right. So it's my honor to introduce Madeline Bram, who is a hero in the fight for victims. Amen. And the rights of victims. We have a place in this system too, not just the criminals, the victims, Thank their fathers, Lord. their mothers, their brothers, their sisters, and their friends. We have a place in this system too, and Madeline is going to make sure we're heard. Amen. 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 That's my man. That's my <laughs> man. I know. He always I delivers. Miss him, Barbara. <laughs> yeah, I do. We do. Good morning, everybody. Good Thank morning. you all for coming out and braving this weather. It's really early in the morning. But we're here for a reason. You're here because you're passionate. You care about the situation and you care about what's going on. My name is Madeline Brame. I am the chairwoman of Victims Rights Reform Council. I'm also the state director of Blexit New York. I'm also the mother of a homicide victim. My son, Sergeant Hassan Korea, was murdered in Harlem in 2018 by four yes. people he did not know, nor had he done any harm. Hassan was stabbed to death. He was stabbed 11 times. Hassan's father was also stabbed 12 times when he tried to come to Hassan's aid. They turned and they did the same thing to him. The case is three years old. We're still being adjourned. There's still shenanigans going on in this court building right here. We were supposed to have the uh, first pretrial hearing today for Mary Saunders, but the, uh, I found out yesterday that the case has been adjourned again to March the 3rd. They, the, the judge actually recused herself and they moved the, the, the case back across the street to 100 Center Street in Tap Part A from where the case originally came from. So I don't know what's going on, but all I do know is that it's giving Mary Saunders 30 more days to be free walking amongst us, well, okay? Um, it's giving her 30 more days mm -hmm. to plot and scheme and, and to either run or kill again. It's given 30 more days <sighs> for me to feel tormented and tortured, not knowing if this woman is gonna try to attack me, my family, my grandchildren, or if someone, you know, anything can happen. Who is to say, who is to say? What gives anyone the right to say that, that's, that this woman does not pose a danger to this community, to the society, right. to, to, to Americans? Who is to say that? Who is anybody to play Russian roulette with our lives? Amen. Not just, Amen. Not just Amen. Mary Saunders. Not just Mary Saunders. There are thousands. There are thousands of all kinds of criminal elements walking free in our streets. Free sure. to come and go and do whatever they want to do to whomever they choose to do it to with no accountability, with no repercussions. Who is anyone Very. to knowingly and willingly allow that to happen? I am I am more, I am past, you know, I'm, I'm furious. I'm furious that once again, here we are. Here we are pushing the date back. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen. It's, it's just leaving me, you know, with so many unanswered questions. True. So many unanswered questions. True. You know, there are people who are supposed to come here today that say that they represent victims. All right? But they're worried about image and worried about who they're standing next to and who's going to be in, in the camera. And they don't want to be seeing the this and that and the third. Well, I got an image for them. That's the right. image is a mother watching her child laying on the sidewalk with a white sheet drop, draped over their body oh, and God. having to watch the coroner scrape that child's body up into the meat wagon in the black body bag and having to watch FDNY come with the fire hoses and wash their child's blood down into the gutter. That's the image I want for everybody to see in their head. I want everyone, every mother, every mother who has had to witness that, that is something that she cannot unsee. That is what's important. Yeah. That's what we have to stop. I try not to get upset. I try not to get too fired up, but I have no choice. It's in me to do it. I'm fighting. I'm fighting for my life. I'm fighting for my children's life. Fighting for my grandchildren's life. And I'm fighting for each and every New Yorker's life. Anybody who's ever a victim of any crime. Right. From the senior citizen who gets mugged for their cell phone and their $30. For the woman who comes home from work, steps in the elevator and gets raped. 
from the 93 year old man walking down the street and gets punched in the face by someone who has 103 prior arrests. There's something wrong with this picture. There's something wrong with the picture. People with mental illness, people with mental illnesses need services. We're not going to let those kind of things distract us or dissuade us or, 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 or make us lose focus on why we're here today. That's right. That's right. All right? That's right. We're going to keep fighting. We're going to keep moving forward. We're going to keep standing together. Amen. 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 That's right. I thank you all for hearing me out today. Now, we were supposed to introduce Curtis Sweeler, but he's not here today. So, without further ado, we're going to introduce Phil Wong, who represents the Chinese American community. Amen. Amen. Amen.